Hi there, I'm Marty Yonick with lifeandlofi.com. I'm looking a little scruffy today. I'm under deadline at the day job. And uh, there's still uh, baseball to be had in Texas in September that counts, so all is good. Hey, I got something in the mail today. It is uh, big box iPhone size. It's not every day that you get to unbox a brand new, this little baby was in China a week ago, iPhone. So we are going to take a look at what's in the box. I can already tell you it's another box. Okay, here we go. The unboxing, magic box. Um, tools we will need are uh, a knife, sharp object. I prefer my uh, trusty Ulfa blade here and a lot of patience. For many of us, this is better than Christmas. Oh, there it is. Cutting carefully along the shrink wrap so as not to scratch the boxes. Here we go. is huge. Pull off the uh, shrink wrap here. Hmm. In the past, when you've opened up the box, they've automatically uh, said, welcome to iPhone. This is great. I'll be able to read the internet on my iPhone without my glasses now. I'll set the type really big like old man size. There should be a setting in the operating system for uh, s small, normal, larger, and olds. Uh, be right back while I put in the password here. Word. It is activating right now without having to sync it to iTunes. asking for billing zip code and some other information to confirm it really is me. You think this phone would be smart enough to look at me and go, oh yeah, it's you. Okay, it's activating again. Uh, terms and conditions. Can AT&T change my terms and condition? Terms relating to device and content. Firstborn male child. All of your assets. Um, yeah, I agree. Whatever. Yes. It may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Now, keep in mind, these are Apple minutes, which are comparable to NFL minutes. This could take a while. I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'll be right back. Get the option to uh, restore from an iCloud backup, from our iTunes backup, set up as a new phone, or move data from Android. Pretty slick. I've got an iTunes backup upstairs. We'll see what this does. And uh, there we go. We'll be back in a little bit. Bye. I've uh, plugged my new iPhone in and to iTunes, and it's restoring from backup. Uh, it's taking, uh, it's going to take about 11, 10, 9, 4, 7. These are Apple minutes. It's probably going to take like about. 10 minutes and then at the very end it's going to rush through a whole bunch of stuff it's going to say too many you know how it goes the important thing to remember when you're transferring your old iphone to your new iphone is back up your iphone like right before you restore to your new iphone that way uh nothing gets lost and especially if you haven't backed up your phone in a day or two uh 
some apps have proprietary data that sits that is stored within a, the folder of the app. A lot of photo apps do that. If you don't back up your old iPhone before that, you will absolutely lose that information. So having extracted the iPhone 6, digging further into the box, it looks like a uh, standard iPhone box. Looking down here, you've got the got a new power cable, of course, uh, new wall wart, and Apple EarPods. Always good, especially if you're upgrading. Always good to have a spare pair of EarPods. And there it is. The entire 11-minute process actually took uh, about an hour and a half after the phone updated in iTunes. It needed to copy over all my apps and data which in my case was about 66 megabytes from an iPhone 5S. I got the big 128, or 100, and, uh, sorry, gigabytes. I got the 128 gigabyte iPhone because I knew that my photos and data and music are just going to, and apps, are just going to expand on the iPhone. But about uh, overall, the process was almost perfect, just about seamless. It's uh, my first impressions of the phone are it's probably one of the best iPhone updates in years. Not a huge fan of the phablet size, but what sold me on this device was the improvements to the camera on the high end iPhone. And I've been testing the phone for the past 24 hours or so, I've been testing the camera, and the camera has not disappointed one bit. Uh, the differences between the iPhone 5S, which is a good camera, and this iPhone are visible and striking. I'll be doing a more in-depth review of the iPhone 6S Plus. Oh, horrible, cumbersome name. Uh, the iPhone 6S Plus coming up soon on Life and Lo-Fi. But this has been the unboxing, and if you have one, you're going to love the new phone. Uh, if you don't, it's definitely worth the upgrade, especially for the camera and the new 3D touch. This is Marty Yonick for Life and Lo-Fi. I hope all your light is good.